From the schoolyard to the stadium, Aon has been helping Kiwis strive for sporting success on a local, regional and national level for over 20 years. We're proud to support New Zealand's sporting organisations and communities up and down the country. As New Zealand's leading insurance broker, we can also support you when it comes to your insurance. Expert advice and local service. From quote to claim management, we're with you every step of the way. Talk to your local Aon insurance broker today. at the Scarborough Tennis Centre, the Kiwi Money Tournament. It is the men's final, and it is between Ajit Rai, the top seed, and Isaac Beecroft, who had an absolute thriller in his semi-final. It was a long, long match, well over two and a half hours against Alexander Klincharov, and he won it in three sets. He's had an hour's rest, and uh, Ajit Rai certainly will be the fresher of the two players because in his semi-final, he won very easily in barely an hour against Anton Shep. So Rye will be the fresher, without a doubt, of the two players. But Beecroft has certainly shown that he can play some very good tennis this weekend. My name's Matt Brown, your commentator this afternoon, and I'm joined by the, the winning coach, I suppose, in, in the women's draw, Vivian Yang's coach, uh, and from Tennis New Zealand, Matt Alexander. G'day, Matt. G'day, Matt. It's been a good weekend for you. You'd be pleased with, uh, with Vivian's performance, first of all, getting through to uh, knock over Jade Lewis, the top seed, and pretty convincing fashion too in straight sets and then play a uh, unusual final against a player that she wasn't really didn't know too much about except the style was very different wasn't it a player who basically plays slice forehand slice backhands and um, you know takes all the pace off the ball and so she took a while to work her out before um, you know coming through strongly in the second set yeah definitely um, I think the main thing it's just it's just great to be back at tournaments again and, and getting match play um, obviously Vivian uh, winning the tournament this week is a nice, nice bonus for the good training she's been doing the last couple of weeks. But yeah, really just enjoying being at, at tournaments and competing again. Yeah, this is I think the first of uh, is it six key money tournaments that are, that, are, that are scheduled. So that's going to be good for the players. And of course, there's some ITF Junior tournaments starting up again. So you know, there's a real feel that you know spring is kind of here. Um, summer's around the corner. And Let's say we can get a lot of domestic tournaments because, as you know, for a lot of our players, it's just travelling internationally and playing is just not possible, other than the very top, you know, Kiwi doubles guys at ATP level who are now playing their trade. But, but for most, most of the younger players, the players we saw in the uh, New Zealand Premier League earlier this season, that's just not possible. And so um, these events are critical, really, aren't they? Yeah, exactly. Uh, like you said. Um, not possible or, or very difficult for these guys to uh, get overseas and compete this year. Um, so it's obviously brought up a couple of good initiatives like the uh, New Zealand Premier League to get a, a lot of guys playing um, a lot of matches and, and then get to have some uh, Kiwi money tournaments and, and also the ITFs for the, for the junior players on uh, the next couple of weeks. Right, let's quickly just look at the path of these two players. The top seed of Jet Rye, well, he's been pretty comfortable so far. One and one yesterday over Kevin Fu in his first match. Then he defeated Alex Hunt in the quarterfinals, one and two. And then 6-2, uh, 6-1 six six in the semi. So really untroubled. He'll be fresh, uh, having three matches under his belt. He will start, I'm sure, as the favourite against a young player, two years as junior, 19-year-old Isaac Beecroft, the fourth seed who... In the first round defeated Daniel uh, Pearson, 6-3, 6 love. Then a 6-1, 6 love win over Francesco Mendieta, the seventh seed. And it's pretty uh, emphatic too, a good performance. And then that real battle today in the semi-finals against Alexander Klincharov, 6-1, 4-6, 6, one, four, six, six four. Uh, So a real tough workout. How do you think uh, young Isaac? I mean, he'll be, no doubt, the adrenaline will be pumping through because he's going to be fizzed for this. But, you know, fatigue when you play a match two and a half hour match and you finish an hour and a bit ago um, you're certainly going to to feel it at some point this afternoon uh, yeah definitely but at the same time uh, you get a little bit of uh, more court time um, Isaac obviously um, played a yeah, semi-final match a bit more competitive um, whereas Ajit's sort of relatively untroubled throughout the tournament so um, Isaac's uh, at least on the uh, positive side of things for him had uh, a little bit more time under pressure, played some more pressure points, so um, I know he'll definitely enjoy the challenge of playing a G today. And Isaac, uh, when you when you look at his game, how would you describe it? Um, he likes to bring a lot of energy to the court. 
Um, you'll see him bouncing around uh, sort of between points. Uh, uh, we might even hear hear him uh, hear a few come ons and, and things like that uh, from behind the glass even. Um, really solid player off the, the back of the court, high high work rate. Um, li likes to move the ball around and, and, and counter punch, but over the last couple of years he's, he's uh, developed his sort of net game a lot more. So we should see him come forwards a, a few more times today and, and, and try to get in and, and take time away from Ajit. All right, so the match about to get underway. Isaac Beecroft is heading to the US to college in California at the end of the year or in January. Uh, that's the plan at this stage. Let's hope that things settle down a bit over there too and you can sort of go over there in confidence and play a lot of good tennis from through from the college system and, and really make it in out on the uh, on the tours. It's a, it's a typical path for New Zealand players. Yeah, it provides them with a nice, nice base and, and a big country like America where there's just uh, a lot of matches, um, good training base, good facilities to train at. And an um, education too if things don't work yeah, out. Yeah, of course, <laughs> yeah, yeah, education. Um, but yeah, just, just a lot of matches that we don't, against a, a wide range of opponents that we don't typically um, have here in New Zealand. So it will be Isaac Beecroft who is on the screen now in the black cap and grey top to get this match underway to fight. <laughs> from Ryan already on serve you know you're in you love 30 opening game yeah there's a good return for, from, from Ajit there um, putting some good pressure on uh, on Isaac's second serve early definitely going to need to make a lot more first serves like that to make things a little bit easier for himself. Just long the call, so break point chances for the top seed, Ajit Rai, in the opening game. And there it is. So, the opening game. Ajit Rai starts superbly. Break serve. Yeah, a couple of loose forehand unforced errors there from Isaac. Um, he, he should settle in, hopefully. Uh, really good return on Isaac. Um, he'll, he'll be looking at uh, trying to capitalize on any second serve opportunities that a that a Jeet uh, might give him here. Hopefully he can find a little bit more rhythm on the forehand as this match progresses. So the first look at the Ajit Rai serve. He's 21 years of age. A pro a couple of years now, Ajit Rai. Part of that New Zealand Davis Cup team that beat Venezuela back in February just as COVID was starting to sort of hit and I can remember covering that tie and the players had to not, you know, use their own towels and there were some restrictions that were just starting to come into place um, back then in February. It seems such a long time ago now. 
Yeah, it's def definitely a different uh, feel at the tournament than the players that we used to. No chairs at the changeover. No spectators. First service game from Ajit here, though three three first serves. We're going to see a look. We're going to see him look to come in a lot, aren't we? And behind that serve, do you think? We've seen a couple of times he's really looked to dictate at the net. Missed it wide, so a jeep right holds serve. Makes a strong start to this match. Consolidates that early break and leads two games to love. Yeah, pretty tidy first service game. A lot of first serves, sitting up well on the point. Um, although he lost some few unforced errors, sort of uh, that overhead and, and that short back end there, but um, to see Isaac to come forward. A big come on there from Isaac uh, through the glass. Even he's uh, not not a not fairly best. animated. Yes. <laughs> yeah, not his best start, but he's certainly not going to go away easily in this match. A couple of times at the net, he has been unable to put away the smash. Good hustling from Ajit Rai in that rally. He was on the back foot throughout. Yeah, he did well to make that, that smash difficult for him, but I still like really like that play from Isaac. I think um, the winner of today's match is definitely going to be the one who um, takes the initiative, um, comes forwards in the court, starts taking more time away from their opponent. First serve could good, could good. So that's a first ace for Isaac Beecroft. Big point here, swing point, 30 all.
longest rally so far. Return hanging the line on the back of Deuce. Have you been generally impressed or otherwise with the standard that you've seen out in the various matches throughout this money tournament, Matt? Um, I, think all the, I think. Yeah, the, the guys, like, like, first tournament back, the guys are, uh, you know, still getting into it. The ones that have, these guys both went back down to, to Wellington during uh, the recent Level 3 in Auckland, so um, they've been uh, training consistently, uh, and some of the Auckland guys just sort of shaking up a few cobwebs getting into it, but the levels definitely are uh, increased as the tournament's gone on. Fold and the break of serve, double break now for Ajit Wright, and he races to a three love lead in the opening set. Yeah, it's a solid, solid start from Ajit, hasn't given Isaac uh, too, ma too many free points, just a couple of slice backhands, but been really solid off from the back of the court, finding good depth in the rally, making it hard for Isaac to, to get on that front foot and yeah just a couple of unforced errors from Isaac um, as I said I still really like the way he's playing and that uh, when he is making those mistakes he is trying to come forward so he is slowly building pressure uh, from those mistakes but yeah he's going to need to um, be a bit more solid in the upcoming games to, to have any chance to get back in this first set Yes, it is a double break, so it'll be Rye coming at the serve at three love. This is the uh, first of the Kiwi Money Tournaments. Matt Brown alongside Matt Alexander. The uh, commentary box for this final between Isaac Beecroft, the 19-year-old from Wellington, and Ajit Rai, the 21-year-old top seed from Taranaki. positive forehand from Isaac there. Your first point, always important. You know, if you win that first point, you just get that, you get that momentum that put your opponent under pressure. You're starting well here at love 15. Oh. Rye responds with a, a bullet of himself, a, a terrific serve. It's an unplayable return, it's 15 all. It's long, so of an opening here for Isaac Beecroft. Hey, 
well to get it back initially, Beecroft, but Ray in position to make that easy winner. Yeah, again, Ajit serves well when he when he um, keeps keeps a nice rhythm on his serve. Um, it's gonna gonna be really hard to to for, for Isaac to get back in this first set if Ajit keeps uh, his first serve percentage really high like it is now. A big point. That was a swing point, and now it's for game point for four love for Ajit Wright. Showed his speed coming forward, getting to that shot off the net court. from both players in that rally. Beecroft, though, wanting the point and getting back to Deuce. So, serve now, as you mentioned, Beecroft needs to be able to put some pressure on Ajit Rai's service game. And has him at Deuce. Needs to find a way to break back down. Double break at th three, love. See Isaac creeping forwards there on the second serve in his court position, moving up on, on top of the baseline and, and uh, forcing a jeep to, to go for a smaller target out wide there. Oh, a huge serve. In fact, Isaac's going to complain that it was long. Isaac's got a really compact swing on his backhand and, and he loves to step in um, especially on second serves and, and, and take a lot of time away um, there uh, both these guys spend a lot of time in, in Wellington and know each other's games pretty well so that's why Jeet's sort of choosing to serve out wide to the forehand there. Now this time he goes down the tee so back to back aces for Jeet Rye to bring up a game point for four love yeah it's, it's great serving there Saving a break point first against the serve in the match. He's mixing up his spots really well on his serve as well. So high first serve percentages and and uh, good variety there, making it really hard for um, Isaac to get a look here. off forehand from Ajit Wright and it's back to Deuce so Wright having to work extremely hard as Isaac Beecroft just attempts to get a foothold in the match yeah you can see that backhand return that he really loves there coming inside the court taking it early
couple of great angles from a Jeet Rai generated in that rally. First with the big forehand and then the backhand across court. Game point for Ajit Rai. Looking to get to four love. Just finds the line, does Ajit Rai, and he does hold serve for four love. In control of the first set is the top seed. Yeah, good play from a G there. That's actually his first winner of the match. It's a comfortable four love scoreline for him, but um, off the back of uh, quite a few P cross on first errors. So. Here is coming thick and fast, really. Of both wings from Isaac B. Croft. He's just not really settling into the match, is he? Yeah, he's six, six unforced errors now on that on that forehand. Terrific point from Ajit Rai, really dictating and putting Beercroft again under pressure on serve at 15.30. Yeah, Ajit looking quite comfortable in that. Um, Isaac definitely serving with a lot less variety than a, than a, than a Jeet here. Oh, terrific play, the cross-court winner from uh, Jeet Wright. Yeah, Isaac didn't quite do enough with that volley, but um, I still really like that play for him. Again, that, that compact back end, getting forwards inside the court, taking the ball on the rise and taking it early. Just needs to do a little bit more with that volley there. Yeah, Isaac, choosing to serve um, a lot on the body and sort of sort of to G's back end here, back end, down the tee and and also to the body on the back hand side. Well, there is the break of serve, and it is one way traffic at the moment. Five love. And Jeet Rai goes to the change of ends. After the change, he'll be serving for the first set in the final of the Kiwi Money tournament here at the Scarborough Tennis Centre. Matt Brown alongside Matt Alexander calling a Jeet Rai the top seed who has started extremely well against 19-year-old Isaac Beecroft. Yeah, 
Yeah, Jeet's looking super comfortable out there. Taking care of his service games quite comfortably. Not giving away too many free points off the ground and, and coming forwards quite successfully. The one <laughs> potential consolation for uh, Isaac here is that if Ajit does uh, serve the set out here, Isaac will start serving in the second set. Hopefully he can find a few more first serves and, and find a little bit of rhythm off the ground here and, and try to get himself ahead a so on the scoreboard. Well, it can change so quickly, can't it? Or you, especially you're right, serving first, and if you can hold, you immediately put you can put your opponent under a bit more pressure. And that they're coming from behind. here for a six love first set. Just missed the backhand down the line. pressure in this service game. Turner from Beecroft, but right did well, I think, to dig himself out of that point. Yeah, missed, missed opportunity for Isaac there, I think. He had a great return again off that backhand wing and pulled Ajit out wide with his forehand but chose not to come in. Potentially e easy volley into the open court there, but opted to stay back and ended up losing that point. Great return from from uh, from Isaac Beecroft, but again not capitalising. So it's a set point for Ajit Wright. Just, uh, Thirty-one minutes. Two 
boost the trim line, so... I think he's, he's definitely going to have to do that a, a, a lot more. Uh, we saw on the points where he where he didn't come forwards on, on that short ball. Um, G was able to get back in the rally, so I think when, when Isaac does hit a good return, he, he really needs to uh, take the initiative and, and keep coming forwards here. there, change things up, but couldn't execute. Yeah, G, G did well there to dip it at his feet, but, you know, you're making your opponent play to a tough shot into a yeah. really small part of the court, and I think that's uh, uh, definitely a better play than um, sitting around at the back and, and trying to extend rallies. Big again, and they go back to Deuce. Longest game of the match so far. Oh, rifling that backhand across court for the winner, Ajit Wright. Yeah, he stepped into that one well. Got his feet inside the baseline. And he has a third set point. Here we go. Come on. Energy. Come on. to close it out, overcooking the forehand for the first time in this game. Stepping in, he was stepping in uh, well inside the baseline to receive that second serve. Took it early, did Isaac Beecroft. And forces Ryan to the error, so they're back at Deuce for the fifth time. Uh, you can see here, although down five love, Isaac refusing to go away in this first set. Fighting for every point here. Lost that point again there, but you just sort of sense he's almost he's even though he's five love down, he's kind of getting back into the match by making it close here and getting a bit of confidence if he can break here and certainly prolong the set. Yeah. Even if he doesn't win the set, he could be, you know, feeling in the match at the start of the second. Yeah, definitely. Number four. Goes begging again, so we go back to Deuce. Yeah, 
Yeah, Jeet a little bit loose off the ground here. Executed by Jeet Ryan. I think Beecroft takes a bit of a tumble. You're right. He's just uh, limping a little bit, is he? I think he went to slide there a little bit and his shoe just sort of stuck to the court. Kind of like slamming the, the brakes on the front wheel of a bicycle. So the upshot is it is another set point. And he does it this time with an ace. That's a jeep right. And he takes the first set. Six games to love. 38 minutes. Yeah, it's an impressive start from, from Ajit. A couple of... Uh, struggle to close out that set there. A couple of uh, um, loose errors from the back of the court, but something he can afford, being up five love. But uh, apart from that, pretty tidy. Um, Isaac will definitely need to uh, bump up that first serve percentage here and try to find some from some rhythm from the back of the court. Still looks a little bit sore after that uh, mm. that tumble, but he's a good competitor, Isaac. So I know he's going to bring a lot of energy to this game here. He'll know it will be an important to get a good start in the second set. Yes, that'll be Isaac Beecroft, and he's just sort of limping as he hobbles back to the back of the court. He'll be serving at the start of the second set. So important, right, Matt, that he holds his first service game, gets on the, the board here. He's really feeling it, actually, his hip is... going to be able to continue. Let's hope so. Just having a chat to the chair umpire. He's going to give it a go, but... Yeah, it doesn't look too comfortable doesn't look right too now, does it? And of course, he's playing his fifth set of tennis today, so... certainly take all those freebies uh, <laughs> exactly. Vegeta's going to give them to him like that. Exactly. Well, of course, it can play to your mind of the opponent too. You, you sense, you know, you can sense, oh, he's a bit sore, he's a bit hurt, you know, and, and you can just kind of mentally click off a little bit. Yeah, I think it changes a, a little bit. You, you sort of feel like you uh, should be winning points or you should be spreading the court and, and trying to make them run. There's nothing in the servers there. He's just trying to get it in, really. And two unforced errors back to back from Ajit Ryan. Isaac Beecroft moves to 30 love. Going to take the first game of the second set. Really struggling as he walks from to retrieve the balls. Of course, no ball kids at this tournament, too. You these COVID rules. No physio on site. No physio on site. It's a bit. Isaac's going to have to deal with this one himself.
It's interesting. I was watching Isaac a lot during the New Zealand Premier League a couple of months ago. He um, just serves a, something he's he's worked really hard on um, in the last the last year or so. A big difference coming back from college. Um, and the Premier League is really favouring uh, the slider tee. Moving okay in that rally. And as soon as he stops, he hobbles back to the court to pick up the ball. But he's got game points here at 40-15. He's got the uh, lines person to pick up the ball for him. I don't know, is that allowed? <laughs> Yeah, as I was saying, he really favoured his, um, his uh, slider serve, so slider wide on the juice and slider wide on the add being particularly effective, but today he's um, hasn't shown too much variety on serve. He's serving a lot to the, uh, the right backhand. Let's see if he continues that with a T or body serve here. Oh, he did well to make that. Get on the board, does Isaac Beecroft. He holds serve, takes the opening game of the second set, but visible pain as he goes through a tree for his towel. But he is on the board. Isaac Beecroft, can he hang in there and, and run it off? Cherubai's going to come down and have a wee chat. There's no physio on site, so don't know if the Davis Cup captain Alice the Hun, who's here, fancies himself as a physio. Yeah, he doesn't look too comfortable, does he? No, he certainly doesn't. He's, he's trying to loosen up and run it off. He, had a pretty good service game considering he leads one love in the second set after Ajit Rai took the opening set. Six games to love. Uh, a loose point from a jeep right. how important that point is. I think with Isaac moving the way he is at the moment, you definitely don't want to uh, go down an early break here and give, uh, give him any hope in this match. Croft. Morris made it, heading inside and down the line, went for a very big winner, very few little margin for error on that forehand. And he gets 
back a 30 all, but it's almost like the injury has seen Beecroft just sort of you know, really get some focus. He's certainly taking it to right. The start of the second set. Now he has a break point. A break point chance for two love. time and gave Beecroft a look but he couldn't convert so now back at use. I think Isaac will be kicking himself there a little bit. Had a lot of time on that that last forehand. Jeet Rai to hold serve and level it up at one game all in the second set of the final here at the Scarborough Tennis Centre, the Tennis New Zealand Kiwi Money Tournament, the first of six this summer. Vivian Yang earlier today won the women's final. Straight sets, 7-6, six, 6-love six over Sarah Wardenberg. Skins off the line, uh, Jeep right, uh, forehand. Forehand from a Jeep Rider bring up double break point. Just watching Isaac closely on the last couple of points. Seems to be, uh, I 
think when he fell over, he's landed on his left hip, which is obviously the, the landing leg on his serve. He's obviously in a fair bit of discomfort when he lands off serve to struggling to, to get back up and, and get into the point. Of <laughs> see it again on the replay, but yeah, it was a double hit, wasn't it? Yeah, G questioning that, but I think so the rules are that as long as it's in, in the same motion, yeah, there you go. So, it's so he didn't swing at the ball twice, so it's still a legal shot. So the score is a 40 a 30 40. Wow, did well to uh, recover there. Ryan could have picked the spot and had it straight back in. Second serve though for Ryan. Oh, he's pulled it wide. And Ajit Rai has the break of serve. She'd had a couple of comfortable holds, but last two service games hasn't served um, as quite as well as he started. So, I think a uh, looks like some Voltaren gel and a cold spray is the extent of the physio services this tournament. <laughs> and get that uh, treatment. And just time him for Take a little pause in our commentary for a couple of minutes while he goes and gets that applied. The situation, it's 2-1 with a break. Ajit Rai are leading this final after taking the first set six love. We'll be back very soon, as soon as the players are back on court. He's just putting cream on, right? Yeah. But we're still going to time it so he doesn't take more or less. Whatever it is. If he takes less, good. If he takes if he hit a shot, then we know that we have to cut the shot. He only did one clinical round for that injury. No, he only did one point. That's what I call it, but that's off for theoretical treatment.
Welcome back. The match is about to resume. Uh, Isaac Beecroft has had a bit of gel put on his hip. He's incredibly frustrated as he goes to the back of the court. It'll be a Jeet Rai with that breaker serve to serve it 2-1 in the second set. Starts off the way he wants with an ace down the tee. Yeah, it's a good way to kick things off again. Another one, take that. Nothing uh, Isaac Beecroft can do about that. So, 30 love, three points on serve. That's what Jeet Rai is wanting. for a G right now. He's just got to really maintain his focus, doesn't he? Just uh, focus on certainly on holding, holding his serve, and if he does that, he'll be the champion. That was a wild serve. Just long. So it's 40-15. Joined us for the commentary of this match. Isaac Beecroft took a tumble here towards the end of the opening set. And as he uh, chased down a drop volley at the net, he banged his hip, fell heavily on his left hip, and it's affected him. So he's serving. Three aces in the game from. Ajit Rai to hold to consolidate the break. And he's moved to three games to one now in the second set. Yeah, Ajit taking care of business, that, that service game. He's got a really nice service action when he, he's got a consistent ball toss. <laughs> There's only one service break, a couple of loose points like that. Yeah, I mean, any, anything can happen, right? But uh, he's definitely not getting up on, a, on his serve uh, as much as he normally does. You're seeing a lot of pain on that, on that landing leg, that left hip. So it's 30 all. Just tightens up again in this game.
capitalised it. Gee, right, the court was open for him. Beecroft not moving well at all to his right initially. Scrambling to get back into play, so he has a game point, though, for 2-3. Does hold serve, so Isaac Beecroft hanging in there. They go to the change of ends. It is Ajit Rai with the break, leading by three games to two in the second set and by one set till up. Hitting it flat, hard down the line. Jeet Rye comes up with the backhand winner. Yeah, it paid off that time. His first uh, first backhand winner of the um, of the set. But um, seven unforced errors off that side for Rye. Fault for Jeet Rye, so 15 all. I mean, it's, it's good he's still being aggressive and going for his shots, but I mean, in the interest of this match, I think he's uh, just got to keep the ball in play and keep moving around the court. And Isaac obviously really struggling movement wise with that sore left hip there. Serving wise though, he's obviously uh, realised that Isaac isn't moving well, he's serving a lot less to the body as he did in the first set, opting for the, the corners of the box out wide and, and down the tee. Get Isaac stretched early on the point. Second double of the game for Ajit Wright. And it's 30 all, so swing point. Wright with that break of serve at 3 2. That's a great response. to double figures with the ace count in front of me but certainly uh, he's had a number of lovely serves today Ajit Wright 
Game point for 4 2. Make that two aces for the game, and Ajit Wright holds serve. Two double faults, two aces, a real mixed bag in that one. And he leads by four games to two in the second set after taking the first six love. This is must hold territory for Isaac Beecroft. Maybe stating the obvious, but he simply has to hold here to have any chance whatsoever. Yeah, definitely. He's not able to serve a 100% speed as well, so he's definitely can't afford those loose errors off the ground here. <laughs> court forehand winner rifled across court wonderful angle Your pace on that too from Ajit Wright and now Beecroft in trouble with love 30 well the backhand pass this time absolutely on fire in this game is Ajit Wright and he races the love 40 on the Beecroft serve, and now a chance to get over the finish line just about. If he can break here, he'll be serving for the match. Take that, rifling the forehand return of serve. The serve, to be fair, just set up for him, but he had to execute, and he does so. Breaks to love, and now after the change, it will be Ajit Wright serving for the match and the title here at the Kiwi Money Tournament. Yeah, unfortunately not the, not the tightly contested final uh, we were all hoping for here, but uh, a couple of other... KMTs uh, in the next couple of weeks. So hopefully Isaac uh, take a day or two off after this, mend, mend, mend the hip and and come back ready for the second tournament. Are we expecting you know most of these players who have competed in this first tournament to, to front up again? Are we looking for good you know good turnouts in terms of entries? Maybe maybe one or two others who haven't played looking to play as well. I'm thinking of someone like a Ruben Statham. Um, I don't think Ruben's playing uh, in, in this KMT swing. Um, Ollie Statham was, his brother Ollie Statham was entered, but uh, uh, pulled out the, the day before the tournament, unfortunately. Uh, junior ITF on, so I think there'll be less entries in total um, with only the senior guys playing, but uh, smaller draw sizes and Still plenty of good players. Right now serving for the match. Oh, he's just missed. Tough shot to make. And he can't quite execute it. So right, three points from victory at 15 love. Smooth sailing here from Ajit. Now 
was a big serving in this game, and he now has triple match point. As a Jeet right. Now we're in 10 minutes. Pretty quick. Sadly, his opponent not at 100% for the second set. <laughs> Well, he does it with an athletic shot too. A volley across court and a Jeet Rai completes a 6-love, six 6-2 six victory over Isaac Beecroft. And he is the champion of the Kiwi Money Tournament for men. Terrific performance. Never dropped a set over the last couple of days. Jeet Rai, a worthy champion, Matt Alexander. Yeah, he's looked pretty, pretty strong all week. Um, not in any serious danger uh, at all at any stage throughout this tournament. Um, spoke to him earlier, and he was just happy to be out on court playing matches. So he'll be uh, he'll be stoked to to get a couple of win wins under under his belt and look to carry that form over into the uh, the second KMT next week. Well, Ajit Roy, congratulations. You are the Kiwi Money Tournament uh, winner today. I guess not really the circumstances you'd probably like because clearly after the tumble that Isaac took, hurt his hip, he was certainly troubled in that second set. But you started off the match very well and you, you won some very close games and, and you got that first set, so you clearly were pretty happy the way you were playing. Yeah, I think it's um, always tough when you know one of our fellow players goes down um, but you just got to keep focusing yourself because as you could see the first couple games he was trying to fire himself up and you know the matches can change from that point and I, I mean same with me um, when you're feeling good the injuries go away and when you're you know not hitting the ball well the injuries come back so that's just life um, I'm super stoked with the stuff my coach um, Al Hunt and my dad have been you know getting me to do and I'm just really proud of myself that I'm starting to get some matches under my belt and conduct myself well in court and yeah, I'm uh, very happy. Yeah, four, uh, I think, really good matches for you. You haven't dropped a set this tournament, so you, you've really asserted yourself out on court. What are the most pleasing aspects for you? Um, I think just that I'm moving well. My body's in great shape. Um, I'm def definitely implementing, you know. For once, I'm actually listening on court to my coaches and trying to just um, work on the things, you know. Um, dad's on the phone to me, working with me remotely. And if anyone knows my dad, you better follow up with what he says, otherwise you'll get another call, which will be quite the opposite. <laughs> So, no, I'm just really happy and uh, just really excited to be out here competing again because training, I mean, it gets, you know, repetitive and you just doing the same thing every single day for, you know, three months straight. It's tough to, you know, do that all the time. You want to get some matches and that's what it's about. Tennis is about winning matches, not about training. So, I mean, you've got to train to win matches, but you know what I mean. So you've got a, a fair bit of tennis coming up, though, of course, with uh, there's more money tournaments scheduled throughout the summer, plus, of course, the, the Cara Bowl, which will be playing each weekend as well. So, so you're looking forward to that? Yeah, I mean, Cracker's going to win it. So <laughs> my team, Cracker, um, if Nigel's is watching, um, he'll be pleased with that. But, um, yeah, we've got heaps of tennis coming up. So Tennis New Zealand's doing a great job. And, um, yeah, I'm just super stoked to be um, in good shape and able to compete uh, week in, week out. Congratulations on, on the win today and all the best for the remainder of your summer. Thank you. From the schoolyard to the stadium, Aon has been helping Kiwis strive for sporting success on a local, regional and national level for over 20 years. We're proud to support New Zealand's sporting organisations and communities up and down the country. As New Zealand's leading insurance broker, we can also support you when it comes to your insurance. Expert advice and local service. From quote to claim management, we're with you every step of the way. 
Talk to your local Aon Insurance broker today.